I'm married. It's not a uh, traditional marriage, though. My wife is, uh, my wife is Japanese, uh, not Japanese-American, like, like Japanese-Japanese, right? I didn't order her. All right, guys, I see, <laughs> I see your eyes. That's a stereotype, right? Nerdy white guy, girl from Asia needs a green card. Everybody's heard that one before, yes? Listen, we're going to break that stereotype right here tonight because she is from the third largest economy in the world, and I have $500 in the bank, so she ordered me. <laughs> Straight out of the clearance section. She said, I'll take the one with the terrible haircut and the big nose. He's not gonna cheat on me, he won't have a chance. <laughs> it's very hard to get a woman from a developed country to move here right now, you guys. My wife wanted me to move to Japan, said it was safer. They don't have any guns. They, they have like three guns. <laughs> like one guy has all three guns. <laughs> like you need somebody shot, they're like, call Hiroshi, he will take care of it for you. And try explaining the United States healthcare system to someone who grew up with universal healthcare. My wife does not understand at all. Because my leg was hurting. She's like, you need to see a doctor. I'm like, did you just get a raise? Because that's not how it works here, honey, all right? I'm going to hop around for a week and try and sleep it off, all right? And at the end of the month, we'll decide if we need my leg or rent, all right? That's, yeah. And I can tell, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those are, those are sad claps right there. Everyone's like, we are totally screwed, right? And I can tell who's Republican by who wasn't laughing at that joke right there. That's how it worked out. You know, how much does an ambulance cost in the United States now, you guys, if you don't have insurance? It's like, a, like last time I checked, it was like $1,000 or something, like, right? Yeah, you get like half your head cut off, you try to hold it on and take a cab, you know what I mean? It's like, I wanna be able to afford to live if I live. I read an article that old ladies in Japan were getting in trouble because they were taking ambulances instead of taxis. Because right? it was cheaper. You find a restaurant you want to go to, you just dial 911. They're like, I, I thought you were dying. You're like, I'm dying for a slice of pizza, baby. Let's crank it up. And you know, I lived overseas. When you come back, you look at things a little bit differently. 911. I feel like we could have done a better job than that here in the United States. We have a lot of smart people in the United States. We picked 911, you guys. My friend from Australia, their number is triple zero, okay? That's a much better system than we have here in the United States. You guys, think about that, you guys. Somebody's breaking into your house trying to stab you in the back. You're scared out of your mind. We picked the two furthest numbers on the keypad, right? I'm not saying it's far, but it's a mile away when you're scared, you know? What happened here? I don't know, sir, but the blood trail ends at the five. Yeah. I'm dead right there. Done. My friend from Australia, he just presses the button. My wife is Japanese, as I said, you guys. She's very Japanese. And I don't know how much time you guys have spent around Japanese people. She still does some weird stuff sometimes. She, she bows on the phone when she says thank you. I'm like, they can't see you. She's like, they feel it. <laughs> we gotta eat everything with chopsticks now. It takes me like an hour to finish a burrito. <laughs> and we watch a Discovery Channel Ocean special. She thinks we're rushing the Food Network. <laughs> She's like, everything looks delicious on this program. <laughs> like, that's a shark, honey. They eat us, all right? <laughs> that's, that's how it works. 